welcome back to my channel! Here in my channel, I do like talking about beauty-related stuff. If you think you're in the right channel, then go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss out on my videos. I try to post at least one video every week. So for today, I want to share with you my <laughs> embarrassingly huge haul. Now, please don't judge me. Okay, I'm looking at you. Don't judge me. Okay, I'm gonna share with you everything. Now, please, I know it's a, quite a big haul, but please take note that this is the haul that I have accumulated for over two and a half months ever since the quarantine has started. I have some stuff here from Shopee, from Lazada. There is some, There are some from Carousel also. Aside from that, I want to share with you as well some of the stuff that was brought home from Manila to here so that I could use some of them. So yeah, um, I want to share with you just some of the things that I got from Manila. Anyway, let's start with the haul, shall we? Quick story of what happened. Ever since the ECQ has started, I have been buying a lot of stuff, shipping them over to my Manila address, but then because of the quarantine, I couldn't take them with me. They're just there and I wanted to use them up. I want to touch some new things. I want to play with some new makeup. So an opportunity came when my one of my cousins went to Manila. She's going to start working there already. Um, then since she's already there and someone is coming back to the province, I asked them to like, Can you pretty please bring back all the packages that have been sitting in the living room? So I'm going to post a photo here of the huge bag that they brought to me so that includes all the hauls that i had for the past two months and also some of the supplies that i want okay so the first thing that we're gonna go through is the stuff that i bought from Shopee. probably the most thing that i'm excited for my Shopee haul is this one yay this is the elf bite size eyeshadow in acai U. You know, I've been hearing a lot of people in the States, it's $3, but here in the Philippines, it's I bought this for around 299 pesos for just four shadows. I'm just curious and it looks so cute, so I want, I want to get it. And then what attracted me with this palette is because of this color here. Very nice blue periwinkle one. I don't have these types of colors in my collection yet. At least these types of purple, that the ones that, that lean towards blue. So I wanted to try it. It's so cute. I also wanted to get the green one that they released, which is called, I think, Hot Jalapeno. I'll show a photo here. I wanted to get that one as well, but then I looked at my collection, thought about it. You know, being $2.99, this isn't cheap. So instead of that, um, I know that I have single eyeshadows that look similar to that and maybe I can do that. So I got this one instead. I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills empty eyeshadow palette. It looks like this wherein you can put your single eyeshadows in here. Obviously, I don't have the green eyeshadows right now. And since I do have a lot of single eyeshadows, I want to create, you know, my own quad kind of and make use of the single shadow so instead of buying the pre-made palette i'll just buy this one at least i can reuse it several times i think this is only like 240 pesos and i know that this will last me a long time so for the next one for the next one which i got that super super sweet deal you know luxie brushes i've been wanting to get those luxie brushes i do have some that is when I got it from like a boxy charm or something that I bought from a reseller here in the Philippines. And then they also have this set. I've been meaning to, to buy one of their sets and I wanted that dream catcher collection, the one with the periwinkle blue handles. They're just a little bit expensive, but people are selling it here for around a hundred dollars. So that's around five thousand pesos. That's but I think that's a little too much in just one go, you know. So one of the sellers that I have been looking at actually decided to break apart the collection and sell individual brushes instead. So she broke apart the collection and I bought these five eyeshadow brushes instead. So it was like around 200 pesos for each. I know it's 1000 for all of this, but these brushes last a long time and I know that I will use them a lot. They're in good quality. They will last me for years. I want to invest on good brushes you know so this is the shapes that I got so I got the Luxie 219 eyeliner brush so it looks like this 
very fine tip. I like that. And then I also have the Luxie 211 concealer, which looks like this. Very flat. I can also use this for putting like shimmers on my lid. And then the second one is, uh, the third one rather, is Luxie 231 multi blurred brush. And I've been wanting to get like a small brush like this. Shapes like this, I know that I will use a lot. It's my favorite shape. And I, I don't have something this small and this tapered. The next one is the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. Again, another shape that I always look for whenever I do my eyeshadows. I always use shapes like this for the crease whenever I put like my transition shade. Or And this one is probably best to deepen up the crease on your outer corners. And then the other one is the Luxie Flat Definer. This I think you could use for your eyebrows, pink concealer, eyeshadow at the bottom. So it's multi-purpose. Luxie brushes, yeah! So excited to use that one. I also got the concealer from Milani. So this is Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. Because I've been look I only have one concealer in my collection right now. Like my entire collection, even in the one in Manila, I only have one. I wanna try I just wanna try this brand, you know? Just wanna try this out. And then I think I got the shade or I get the shade 140 pure beige. But honestly I think it's a little too dark for me. I'm not really sure if this will work. I know that you're supposed to uh, get something that's brightening underneath you know like my dark circles i do have i think you can see one right now i didn't put concealer today i'm gonna do a video of me trying out all these uh purchases so still you would see all right so the second one that i got is from aoa studio it's their aoa studio perfect setting powder in the shade soft light so I know I want to get a glowy powder for sure. Like I want it, I want a powder that's not too like mattifying, but I want to have like a certain type of glow. And I actually just bought this in a whim. AOA is a very affordable brand. I don't think this is 200 pesos and, it is, and this is 11 grams. By the way, I think this is much more cheaper than the one from Innisfree, the, the blurring powder that they have mattifying powder in the green um, canister this I think is much cheap because this is 11 grams and that one's like only 5 grams this I'm expecting it to have like a sheen not something glittery I don't like that but something like a sheen that doesn't look flat on my face well something that I haven't shared in my channel before is that I like perfumes I love perfumes I love fragrances that um craze started when I watched Perfume, the movie. <laughs> it drew me in into the a world of perfumes, let's say, and I wanted to try, you know, several perfumes in one go, but I want to be like on the budget or somehow. I, so I bought these sets of perfume samples. I know, it's who spends money on perfume samples? But I just want to try them out to see. Because two, two months back, I was really obsessed with getting perfumes. So one of them is Hermes. Don't judge me. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this brand. So <laughs> I'm just gonna put the name below. I don't want to butcher the name. So this is what they had. I got this one. I, I don't even know why I bought this, you know? Like, I'm that embarrassed to tell you that I don't even know why it drew me in. Something about Hermes perfumes intrigued me so much to buy a sample, you know? Anyway, and the second one I got was this one, also from the same garden collection that they had. So this would be two. Once they got the sample, so how much was this? Don't ask me how much I bought. I paid for this, okay? I, I, it's more than what I want to pay for, but... Like I said, I don't even understand why I bought this. <laughs> okay, next one is I got... The Elizabeth Arden White Tea version. I was a fan of their Elizabeth Green Tea called Favorite, super popular perfume. Everybody knows it, you know. And I wanted to try this white tea version because I do like teas. I like the smell of tea. I like tea in my skincare. I like drinking tea. I'm just obsessed with tea, okay? Aside from makeup, skincare, and perfumes, I also like tea. Just a little fun fact there for you. I just want to sample it to smell it and then maybe I'd get the new one, you know? So this 
for sure I'm not buying this these for sure I'm not buying the full set okay it's just I just want to have them I just want to have a bit of luxury in my life and then the last perfume sample that I got was this one the clean reserve in Avant the Avant Garden collection in what's this smell oh my god I'll just put it out here okay I'm not even gonna try it again I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it but there you go that's that's the name so I just got it because the original sample that they had for like the Hermes the Hermes perfume like one of them was out of stock but I couldn't remember what they replaced it so I got this one instead I haven't smelled it yet but yeah looks really nice I mean, who's interested in perfume samples? <laughs> All right. Okay, glad that's over with. I think that's everything for my Shopee haul at least. Um, but let's go with um, from the individual sites that I just bought online. This one from Colorit. I bought this from Facebook. Like at the start of the quarantine, they posted so this one. It's a mini of their Colorit tints of five different shades. They have Ocean, Coco, Zola, um, Emma, and Ellie. So they have all these shades. I do really do like the concept of minis because you get to try products at a cheaper price and then you can get to try different colors without hurting your wallet so much. So yeah, I hope they put out more minis because I do love them. They're so small, they're so cute. They are 3 ml each. I don't think they sell this set anymore, but these ones, the full size ones, are available still in, in Lazada and Shopee, so you can get it there instead. I think it's 299 pesos for a bottle, but they do do sales quite often. If I should say, like whenever there's a Lazada sale or something, they do put these tints on sale. So yeah, so go check them out. They're a local brand. I love them. Um, they are, they did donate some of the proceeds from this set to um, the frontliners at least so yeah that's one of the reasons why I bought it as well is because I want to help out and I want to get these ones so why not do both at the same time if you want to see swatches I did swatch them in my Instagram account so do follow me there I forgot there's also one thing that I bought from Shopee and I'm using it now it's my tripod I bought a tripod guys this one is from Babin I'm filming with my phone right now but you can also prop in your camera as well so you can put that there and so I think it's pretty good I mean I don't need much honestly and I got this for only like 229 pesos or something less than 250 pesos definitely yes and the next one that I have here are a bunch of soaps from Soak Art Sun. So this one is the sweet strawberry scent and it looks so pretty. And then this one is the succulent garden. I got attracted to this because the scent is from with bamboo. And I want to try a fresh scent. So this one, it didn't say, it didn't tell you the scent. Well, this one smells like strawberries. Yeah, it smells like strawberries. And then this one looks very fresh, very clean type of scent. It has bamboo. I think that's the only thing that I could remember right now that is in there. But there, there you go. These two plus another one. This is this one. I have another one. I think that you could use this for your face, but I use it for my body. And I have this in Calendula Sunrise. The scent is so good, it's so refreshing. I always look forward to, you know, taking a bath <laughs> because I love this soap. I, I fell in love with this right now and it smells so good. So good, so good. It's just some there's just something with scents, you know, that it makes experiences like mundane experiences so much better like you always attach scents with a certain type of memory or a certain type of feeling or experience and that's, that's what intrigues me with scents speaking of scents i bought these ones from alexander perfumes oh my goodness i, I had this for quite a while like i think around mid-march or something or april i shipped it to my provincial address and i love it so much oh my goodness i will put the i think I'll, I'll do a review of these ones i'm not really sure are you interested in that let me know down below if you're interested in a perfume video because i don't think there are rev review videos of this one of this perfume 
brand so it's a local brand i think i got this for like only 400 pesos and it's uh the perfume so it lasts longer than the your usual perfume they also have a huge line of perfumes inspired by domelon of bugatti and a lot of other different perfume houses so i got this one so this one is wood sage it's supposed to be an inspiration from a Jo Malone perfume called Wood Sage and Sea Salt, I think. And then this one is supposed to be an in inspiration of Versace Bright Crystal. 400 pesos a pop, guys. Now let's move on to my carousel haul. So the first one that I'm pretty, 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 pretty excited about is this. Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina palette <laughs> when this launched I was like so gosh I'm all over that color scheme and this is what it looks like <gasps> oh my goodness it looks so pretty look at all the purples and pinks and this shimmery red like I've, I've never had a red shimmer like this this red in my collection ever so I'm, and I'm also all over this color like, look at that this portrait looks so good I know that this is a limited edition palette I'm not really sure if you can get this again because the seller was like selling it brand new it, it was on its way to the Philippines when I chatted her about this and she doesn't have it on hand and it seems it seems legit and this is the box that it came with it looks so nice so I was really hesitant but then I decided I was contemplating whether or not to get this because I don't want to buy another makeup item for my birthday because I already have a lot more of what I need you know it's a lot already a lot of makeup that I will go through for in a lifetime but quarantine going on flights getting cancelled I've been meaning to take a vacation somewhere but then because of everything that's going on travel has been restricted so so i ended up getting this one instead <laughs> and i'm not angry i don't think we will be doing any traveling this year at all probably next year but I, I'm, I'm pretty i'm pretty skeptical that we will do traveling at the first half of the next year i'm not really sure and unless this is like really really over you know i've decided maybe that i'll just put all the other clothing hauls that I did on a separate video some of them from carousel some from another shop but yeah I'll just probably put that in a separate video so let's just stick with makeup and beauty products here okay for the next section is not really the haul like I didn't buy the, these these are just some items that I have in my collection in Manila already but I asked my cousin to bring some of them home to me I could use them up because they've just been sitting there for like almost three months now unused so this is the foundation that I got I have only brought one foundation if you saw my what's in my travel bag makeup my quarantine makeup collection I'll link it here I'll try to link it here if you saw that one I only have like one foundation foundation and it's almost out already so I got the I asked her to bring home these ones so this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation I'm in the shade 128 but I think it's pretty dark for me I was in the shade 128 as well warm nude uh, in the fit me line but somehow this is much more darker so I'm not really sure why that is but anyway this is the, uh, the, the other one is L'Oreal the true match uh, satin smooth liquid foundation in the shade G2 and also I have this one I asked her to bring me some lippies as well she brought home my um, Charlotte Tilbury um, hot lips in the shade glowing gen so this is what it looks like have this and also I just asked her to choose for me so this this is what she brought <laughs> she brought me my BLK and then my happy skin um, generation happy skin my lips but better ultra matte lips in the shade wonder and charm and then the BLK cosmetics um, Mac mousse from their holiday collection last year as well as their they're creamy all over me. I have lashes now! Yay! I have fake lashes now! So happy! 
These ones are from Bl Mish uh, Bloomin. These are from Mish Bloomin. It's a Japanese brand from um, Japan. I did buy this over when my sister went to Japan or during one of my trips. The lash that I'm wearing right now is cur called Girly Wink. This one. So it's a cat eye shape uh, wing. I'm not really sure how to put on lashes anymore because I haven't been wearing them since the quarantine has started. And then, aside from that, I also have some other lashes. This this one I just bought from Shopee. The price ranges from around 60 to 100 pesos, depending from which seller. You get three lashes and I use them, you know, multiple times. I don't just like wear them one time and then throw them, throw them in the trash. I do clean them out and wear them again and again until they're about to fall apart. So guys, I think that is everything for my haul. So yeah, please uh, don't judge me. <laughs> I want to do a video uh, like a get ready with me with that one so like a try on first impression kind of video if you're interested in that let me know again just give this video a like if you like if you like that idea so yes that is it for my haul guys i hope you enjoyed this type of video i will be reviewing these um quite soon maybe after a month at the end of the month i'll probably post like a roundup review of some sort to let you know how i feel about these items anything that i regretted from these ones yeah let me know guys so thank you so much for watching this please like subscribe don't forget to also follow me on instagram because that's where i will i will post some lip swatches some tutorials as well and some content that I think is much better there. <laughs> I want to meet more people. I want to talk more makeup and skincare, everything beauty in this channel, and maybe some fashion coming soon. So I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.